Hello friends, Sniz here, and today I thought I'd provide a short video covering what has changed with Thunderbreaker in the latest patch. With the installment of version 227, Thunderbreaker has finally received a few changes to their kit. However, being completely honest, these changes are barely noticeable unless you're actively looking for them. First on the menu of buffs is a global one. Decent skills and various buffs are now able to be casted by your pets. But without the additional auto buff slots, I find myself forgetting to cast certain skills. Personally, I'm auto buffing Lightning Elemental, Knuckle Booster, and the Mihail Link. I swapped out Speed Infusion and am now manually casting it as it has a much longer duration than my other skills, along with a shorter animation, which is always helpful. But with the next set of buffs that are due to occur with Lara's introduction, manually buffing should be a thing of the past. So at least that's something to look forward to. And now, on to the specific changes to Thunderbreaker. First on the list was the change I was most looking forward to, until I realized how it actually works. Title Crash has an additional way to cancel itself now. This method involves using your down arrow key to cancel the skill when you press it. However, you're required to press Title Crash all again alongside the down key. This means that you require an additional input to accomplish the same effect that we had before, which to say the, at the very least, is just downright insulting. I originally thought that the cancel key was now the down arrow, which I was really looking forward to as I wouldn't accidentally stop myself mid-rush. But adding an additional input on top of the existing method for canceling is just stupid. At the very least, you are allowed to toggle the cancel method to the old version, which while I feel is a superior method, I'm still not a fan of that. Overall, it might provide some benefit to those who put effort into learning the new method, but from my brief testing, you might accidentally lay down after canceling Title Crash due to holding the down arrow, and doing so prohibits you from continuing your attacks until you stand back up, which, needless to say, hurts the already abysmal fluidity of this class. Next on the list of changes is the Lightning Cascade buff. Lightning Cascade now has a passive effect to activate a singular lightning bolt that will chain to nearby enemies. This effect is able to be triggered every 6 seconds. It should be noted, this effect can only be triggered while the skill is on cooldown, meaning that when Cascade is off cooldown and able to be reactivated, there will be no passive bolts occurring. However, what the patch notes failed to mention is that this buff is strictly for mobbing. After the patch went live and reading the new skill description, it very clearly states that normal monsters need to be within range for the passive effect to activate, meaning this does absolutely nothing for our bossing capabilities. This is a strict buff to our mobbing capabilities, most likely given in response to the removal slash fix of Lightning God's Spear Strike a few patches ago, and even then, this still doesn't compare to what that skill was able to do. This change was welcome, but a punch in the gut due to the poor wording of the patch notes. Next, we have a buff to Lightning Spear Multi-Strike. The final attack of the skill now activates three additional Lightning Strikes. Uh, it's, it's a welcome buff, but barely noticeable due to the lackluster nature of the skill already. The coming Lara patch greatly buffs the damage of Multi-Strike, so we'll see if it becomes a decent burst skill then. While another positive change, it's nothing to write home about. And in addition to the three changes listed under Thunderbreaker, Thunderbreaker's Flash was also supposedly fixed to not target enemies that cannot be attacked. However, I have very good reason to believe this fix was not implemented, or at the very least, not implemented correctly. I'll show footage of myself now and Will attempting to use Flash to reposition myself. I end up targeting the purple heat-seeking orbs, which you cannot attack, and I end up taking additional unnecessary damage. This would not have happened if Nexon could follow through on the fixes they said they've implemented. Some examples off the top of my head include equipment swapping and Threads of Fate as they are still not functioning correctly. Nexon is really just a small indie company. Thank you for tuning in. I will probably make similar videos to this one every balance patch from now on. That way you can see me upset consistently as Nexon fails to do anything significant for Thunderbreaker. I'll see you friends later. Bye-bye.